Right folks, it's something like 29th of July, nearly the end of July, 2022. This is the first sunny day we've had for, oh, I can't remember, uh, we definitely had a heat wave a week or so ago. Uh, then we went to a period of temperature drop and grey skies. Uh, I, I know that this has been the best day for at least a week. Um, so, and I was still resting last week, resting my uh, knees and everything from a big hike I did on Exmoor uh, two weeks ago. When I was camped over at Porlock and then walked over to, uh, walked back from Moor, I got a bus out to County Gate. But that's all recorded on videos and shared. But I'm back out here again. I wasn't here that long ago. Uh, the reason I'm here is because it's another way I can get in onto the Mendips without having to climb up Cheddar Gorge all the time. I have to go down it later. It's an alternative route for me. And I was lucky because that bus has nearly been almost cancelled. There's so many diversions and roadworks apparently that um, it might possibly be that it could have been cancelled. I think I was lucky to get that bus. Um, there was one man on it who was on it for a short period, dropped off at the new estate, the new executive's estate near Lockin. Um, and, and, and I was the only one, even though he roamed around the estate, no one got on it and they never have done as far as I've been on it. Anyway, I think I possibly got here earlier than usual and I'll tell you why. Because of the diversions, he said he would take me straight to Sanford, to Churchill, I mean, near Nelson Arms, and not take me on the big loop, because everything had changed anyway. He said it wouldn't make any difference. So here I am, folks. Possibly about just after half ten, going on for quarter to eleven. I'm not going to keep looking at the watch. Now, there are, the plan A today is to walk all in the call along here, no hills at the start of the walk, um, and only a few undulating hills further on. Um, now, I don't know if I'll be able to manage it or not, but basically the idea is to go along the bottom near Borough Coombe and through the shrubs and woods and then up towards the aerials and um, maybe Velvet Bottom. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see how I get on when I get there. Right, somebody coming on horses now. Just turning off for a minute. Right back on again. This is summer at its peak now. Lush green looking really really good um, obviously the flowers do perk up blossom and fade then you get other ones come along butterflies are still dancing away just met two ladies on horses enjoying themselves beautifully groomed horses lovely long tails um, so I just thought I'd carry on so yeah, the aim really, I mean, I wanted, but like I said before, I could do with that early start. Uh, but with the one, with the 51 bus, you either got to come out at sort of quarter past seven. And I notice it doesn't actually come as far as um, the Nelson Arms. So it wouldn't have been any good anyway. Um, but I do like this. 51 at the moment. It brings me straight over here without having to walk up past the quarry and all over the top of the Churchill skiing place. It enables me to get out here quite, quite quickly on this track. Uh, the hill fort of course, Robero Hill Fork, Dalbury Warren Hill Fort is up there. We have done it this year and the next time I do it I'll be coming from another direction. But it won't be today. Today is a day where I usually try and fit in Velvet Bottom. 
but the only problem is it's, it's time unfortunately I've got to mention time for a short period time is a factor you can't go fast in this heat and I don't want to so basically when I get to the other end of the area of outstanding natural beauty I will decide whether to skirt Longwood and go back to Cheddar and miss out Velvet Bottom and do it another day which is a possibility. I will assess how I am, how the water situation is um, but I do normally do it but I don't always do it all because in the past I've often done a loop from Cheddar and uh, not included the Warren at all sometimes the Warren is a bit too much even when I've got the extra two hours um, <clears throat> you see I can get out here early with the bus pass on a Saturday but it's raining tomorrow this is what our weather is like you get this gorgeous weather beautiful look at it today I mean that everything's calling out for water though I'll tell you what apparently this is the driest month in July since 1911 for some reason and it is the ground's been parched for ages the the plants are just hanging on to give their final bloom but I reckon they'll fade here by August if they don't get any water soon you know all the streams have dried up flowers are hanging on putting out a little bit of color for us the grasses are higher um, everything sings the stinging nettles and ferns don't seem too energetic either um, so anyway I'm going to turn off again this was really this these first two little videos are just introductions to the walk and as a possibility there might be quite a long gap now apart from photos before I do another video so okay so because what happens sometimes with this camera is really good but when I was out on my another walk in the heat it refused to work for about two days it got overheated with use and the, the climate I've only brought a little camera I have my both my really lovely Sony's that I used a lot with viewfinders are, are both broken really um, they're both broken really they might work for a little while they might do and then they pack up so here we are folks I think the last time I was out here I was exploring another track and I turned off not yet but uh, but today we're going to go straight along this cool track to the area of outstanding natural beauty but we're not climbing up it what I'm going to do is keep low like this where there are uh, shrubs and things like that so I can keep cool if I want to Right then, over and out for now. Over and out. Right, just a small video as I'm going along this very narrow pathway. I've passed the junction point that I went up a different way a month or so ago. Uh, this little path now takes me up to the junction point where you can turn left to go up the hill fort because the hill fort, don't forget, is above me, all well, above me, above these trees. That the, the path up to the hill fort is beyond here. Um, so when you get up to the junction, well, there's a junction point. So you turn left if you want to go up to the hill fort. When we, we aren't there yet, and then you turn right if you want to get into Robert Warren. You can go on a bit further, go through a gate, and then there's another main path 
Oh, no, but when you get to that first junction point, yeah, after the turn into the Warren, you carry on another path like this for a while until you come to a gate. After the gate, there will be some more diversions and you can take one that eventually leads to quite a long, broad path that will take you to Burrington Coo. Right? Or, like I'm going to do, you turn slightly right round some trees on a track heading for what I call the main parade which takes you up a bit from the base of the parade where there is a crossroad where you follow that crossroad to tracks like this which are more undulating they've got shade though they're streams Eastlings and Westlings and you just follow that all the way along when I did it last I thought that didn't take long but I don't know if I've done it from here so there we go right back there <sighs> somewhere along here there's usually a path that branches off onto another track but it could be it's been left to overgrow now. Um, there were lots of sort of little parallel tracks, but it does look very overgrown, doesn't it? Look at the size of these ferns. Look at that. Also along here, well camouflaged and hidden now, might not even spot it, we might pass it without knowing, is a lime kiln. There's a lime kiln built into the side here, somewhere. I don't know whether anyone would have labelled it or just left it so no one wrecks it. There's a raven following me, making his characteristic calling. We know you're here, Sheila, he's saying. Have you got any food? Yeah, but it ain't my picnic yet. I'm having my picnic. A, a part of it, the chocolate and the banana. And a drink. When I get to the junction point. Which isn't yet. And now I'm also going to take my top t-shirt off. But I'm not doing any of that yet. I like to have targets and make myself wait. Even though you could stop here in the shade. No. It isn't really that far. Now today for picnic. Got banana. Two oranges, or tangerines, small ones. Packet of uh, Leicester cheese, cheeselet type things. Cheddar cheese, extra mature, with five little tomatoes. I'll leave them till later because they would definitely give me indigestion. Then, what else have I got? Oh yeah, various um, fruit bars, oat bars, dry biscuits, some sweets. Um, enough to keep me going. Now, like I said, plan A was to try and reach Velvet Bottom. Plan B is to turn off short of that and go down towards Longwood. Right, over and out. <sighs> 